Hi guys welcome to our channel staple review. In this video, we try to help you find out the best mouse pad for gaming on the market. Based on our research and knowledge, I made this list and tried to find and list those items according to their quality and performance, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their latest prices and more images and find more details, you can check out those links in the description below. Let's see the product one by one. 1. Razor Strider Specifications Surface Type, Soft Surface Material Cloth, Dimensions 940 x 410 mm, double XL, 450 x 400 mm, L Reasons to buy Plus huge Plus sticks to your desk Plus great gliding surface Reasons to avoid It's a black rectangle Coarse material The Razor Strider claims to be something of a hybrid The flex and soft finish of A fabric mouse pad with The stick to itiveness and glide of a more rigid model I dare say it actually Delivers on both counts Two, A firm fabric lines the top of the Razor Strider's surface, and this is able to deliver a swift and effortless glide, with any half-decent gaming mouse. It's not as soft a finish as others on this list, but it's still comfortable to rest your palms, on for the better part of a day. Beneath that lies anti-slip rubber to effectively stick, this mouse pad to your desk, with zero chance of lateral movement. This extra layer also firms up the entire mouse pad, and to keep it from fraying there's some smart black stitching, around the mat's edge. This stitching is really tight to the edge of the mat, so you can actually push your mouse, over the edge of the pad without issue. For a zero fuss and well-made mouse pad, look no further than the Razor Strider. 2. Corsair MM300 Extended Specifications Surface type, soft surface material, cloth dimensions, 930 x 300 x 3M base, rubber. Reasons to buy Plus it's huge. Plus very smooth tracking surface. Plus stitched edges. Reasons to avoid. Very large Corsair branding. The MM300 is Corsair's premium line of cloth mouse pads featuring a non-slip rubber base, stitched edges to prevent fraying, and a sturdy thickness of 0.12 inches, 3 millimeters. The extended version is the largest available and designed to fit even the biggest gaming keyboards with plenty of room to spare. When combined with a compact, 10 keyless keyboard, the surface area for the mouse feels almost infinite. Like most cloth mouse pads, the MM300 Extended features a smooth, textile weave design that ensures gliding a mouse across, its surface feels like cutting through butter. We found it easy to pinpoint attacks in our FPS testing, with a hefty amount of overhead for DPI adjustments, thanks to the massive surface area. Whether you like to move your mouse across, the desk or just a couple of inches to make a 180 turn, Corsair's oversized mouse pad has you, and your desk, covered. 3. Logitech G440 Specifications Surface type, hard Surface material, plastic Dimensions, 340 by 280 by 3 mm Base, rubber Reasons to buy Plus low friction surface Plus solid rubber base Plus minimal branding Reasons to avoid It's a little pricey Nothing compares to a solid, hard surface mouse pad when it comes to Fewer speed and low tactile resistance Except maybe Razer's hybrid PC gamers requiring subtle, but rapid mouse movements prefer these slick Low friction surfaces that allow them to glide their mouse with ease. While it does ultimately come down to personal preference, we prefer using hard mouse pads while playing RTS, and MOBA type games where swift map navigation, and tight mobility are crucial. Unlike their cloth counterparts that all use very similar textiles, hard mouse pads are made from a wide variety of components and blends, including aluminum, plastic, and rubber. They vary dramatically in friction, weight, and design, so there is sure to be a hard mouse pad out there, that is perfect for you. For us, the simplicity and ultra-smooth surface of, the Logitech G440 make it our top choice, when considering speed. At a glance, 
The surface of the G440 might appear to be completely smooth, but it is a polyethylene surface featuring microtextures that offer the perfect amount of resistance. The mouse pad provides just the right amount of feedback, without any excess noise generated from our rapid mouse movements. Logitech seems to have found the perfect middle ground, between abrasive and smooth as we were able to seamlessly move, and stop our mouse with ease during intense battles. 4. Razer Gigantis V2 Specifications Surface type, soft surface material, cloth, dimensions, 940 by 410 by 4 mm, base, rubber. Reasons to buy, plus absolute unit, plus desk sized pad, plus various designs available. Reasons to avoid, no side stitching. The Gigantis V2 offers several different sizes, from 14 inches to a huge 47 inches. It's enough to cover most desk surfaces, which are great for gamers who play with big sweeping gestures. You can even customize your mouse pad, with a logo from your favorite esports team, or competitive shooter. This soft surface type mouse pad, performs pretty well. Though, if you usually use hard surface mats, it may take some getting used to. The lack of any side stitching could affect, its durability down the road, but performance wise, the Gigantis V2 is still an impressive. Another added benefit of Razer's giant mouse pad is, that the underside can second as a green screen for pets. Opens in new tab, weird how Razer doesn't mention, that in any of their marketing material. 5. Razer Specs V2 Specifications Surface type Polycarbonate Dimensions 14.0 by 10.0 inches Thickness 0.02 inches Extra features None Reasons to buy Plus incredibly cheap Plus surface withstands wear and tear Plus fits easily on most desks Reasons to avoid Adhesive base makes it hard to move Gaming accessories are expensive If you want a top-of-the-line mouse, keyboard and headset, you're looking at spending at least $350, and that's not even taking wireless variants into account If you want to spend as little as humanly possible on, a mouse pad from a major manufacturer, the Razer Spex V2 is the way to go this mouse pad retails for $8, and is often on sale for as little as $5. And, especially considering the price, it's a surprisingly solid accessory. At 14 by 10 inches, the mouse pad is, small enough for most desks, but big enough to facilitate a wide range of motion. Its polycarbonate surface is neither hard nor soft, smooth would be a better word, and it holds up well, even after months of use. It has an adhesive back however, so wherever you plunk it down is where it's going to stay. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe button. We LLC you guys in the next videos.